I always think about the metaphor of the heart, right? The heart beats 24 hours a day, but the only reason that it's able to do that is because it rests between beats. And so for ambitious, hard-driving people, like a lot of your clients, it's really important to get very deliberate about that rest. Otherwise, you run the risk of burning out. And so, you know, I wrote a book for working parents who are like, you know, the most busy people of all, right? Because they're they're either doing one huge, hugely demanding task or another. And so you think, oh, well, those kinds of people don't have a chance to rest at all. Actually, those are the people that are most in need of rest and and they're going to have to be pretty creative and deliberate about doing it. So there's lots of ways to do that. And one way is exactly what you're saying, Michael, which is like detach and give yourself permission to do that. And when guilty thoughts crop up, remind yourself that part of what you're doing is allowing yourself to do the hard driving tasks more effectively because you're taking a break and recharging your battery. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to do the work that is important to you. And so what can often happen for people who are really ambitious is that every time they take a step back to take a rest, they feel so guilty and it, and that guilt really interferes with the rest being productive rest. So what we want is to have productive rest so that when we return to the roles that we care about, we have a lot to give to them in a more enduring, sustainable way. What I also find found is that in my own life is that when I do take those rests, that's when my default mode network kind of kicks in and gives me the solutions to all the problems that I've been trying to figure out for the past two weeks. But the moment I take that paintbrush and I start painting, it's like 10 minutes later, oh, here's an idea. Oh, this is how I could do it. This is how I could do it. It's like, yeah, that those two hours of painting were like well invested because I got a couple of... Uh, solutions to my problems that I've been pondering for an entire week. And, and here we go. Totally. That's another great way and science-backed way that we can actually use our multiple roles and, and downtime to be productive for our work. So what you're pointing to is, you know, some people call it the Eureka effect. And Archimedes had this realization about the buoyancy principle, but he wasn't working. He was in the bathtub and he had this insight. And it was probably, be actually, I think that story is known to be more myth than fact, but it refers to something that most people can you know, have had that experience. Like you have a fight with your partner and then you're in the shower two hours later and you're like, ah, now I have the perfect response, right? Your default mode network was sort of working in this outside of your conscious awareness. And that's where creative thinking comes. So if we're always focused in a very conscious way on the problem, we don't have a chance to get access to that really creative thinking that doesn't filter out what can sometimes be crazy thoughts that can sometimes be really powerful, creative solutions to our most hard pressed problems. And so, again, thinking about that downtime as really beneficial can help us alleviate the guilt and really very deliberately and fully step into turning off work. And that is really helpful for burnout. And it is, Michael, as you're noting, really helpful for creative problem solving. It's a really strategic way to do it. And this is actually has a name. It's called the incubation effect. And it's when we consciously stop thinking about a problem and allow our default mode network, this is sort of the, the part of the brain that's outside of conscious awareness to get to work. And that only then, this isn't the only way to be creative, but it's a very powerful way to be creative. But in that incubation process is when really creative solutions can come out almost as if they're coming out of nowhere, but it's, it's, it's from your own brain processes that you activate. 